Hi you guys, so welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my April favourites. Or is it May favourites? April favourites. So if you're interested in what I've been absolutely loving this month, then please continue to watch. Continue watching. So this month has been a horrendous month. I am so glad to see the back of it. Um, it's just been so many things that have been going on and at times it's really it has really questioned how strong I am as a person um, and at times I felt like I wasn't strong at all um, but I've developed some pretty good coping mechanisms so if you guys would be interested in a video on how to cope with stress in your life and how to completely avoid that then please let me know so firstly I'm going to start with body products and the first thing I've been loving this month is the Bondi Sands um, gradual tanning milk and this has the cocoa butter scent this is amazing. I have used this so much and I only bought this like maybe a week or two ago. It's just phenomenal. I have hated gradual self tanners just because they've always turned out orange and very patchy. But this one is almost like I've been on holiday and it's just beautiful. It's buildable and it lasts. For hair products I haven't actually been loving that much at all just simply because I haven't really done much with my hair. But I have been loving the Bastis Dry Shampoo in Floral and Flirty Blush. Um, my favourite one was the Cherry one, but I would say that this has probably taken over as my favourite now. This is the only brand that I actually trust with dry shampoos because they do work. And then the second product I've been loving is the Provoke Touch of Silver Twice a Week Brightening Shampoo. My hair tends to get quite orangey, um, even though I've left some of the orange tones in the blonde. Um, some shampoos I wash with they actually turn my hair orange and I've been using a lot of heat on my hair so I turn them a funny colour but to completely remove any of that brassiness I've been using this touch of silver and it's amazing it turns my hair very ashy. Okay so for makeup I'm firstly going to start with my routine of makeup so going from primers to finishing sprays. The first product I've been loving is this Brilliantly Bare Beauty Enhancer from number seven. It's a lighter than air skin perfecter and I just use this as a primer. It has the properties to completely blur out, blur out pores and it also has a slight smidge of highlight in here. So it's really gonna give you that luminous glow. But I have been using this so, so much. So for foundation, I have mainly been going towards my L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour foundation. The coverage is just a delight. It's a fantastic colour, although it's slightly on the yellow side. Um, but yeah, I have mine in the shade of 120 Vanilla. I probably need to get the next shade up just because I'm going to be tanning soon. It's just an all-rounder, fantastic foundation, amazing price, amazing coverage, and is slightly on the matte side, so I've been loving this. For concealer, I've been heading towards this Rimmel Lasting Finish Concealer. It's relatively new on the market, but I am in absolute love with this. And you have this pot of concealer it's amazing the coverage is fantastic it's exceptional for highlighting under your eyes and on your chin and at the bridge of your nose I love this and I have this in the shade of 020 ivory for bronzers I actually have two favorites the one that I always continuously use which is the L'Oreal color riche bronzer and I've been loving this for the past few months you'll probably see me use this in a lot of videos but the second one that I have been absolutely loving is the Makeup Revolution Vivid Bake Bronzer in the shade of Rock On World. And this is phenomenal. I don't really use this to contour as much, but when I'm in a rush, I tend to use this as a highlighter and a bronzer in one. I will show you on the close-ups, but it's definitely very shimmery and it's just gorgeous and it's slightly warm toned as well. So for highlights, I've been absolutely adoring two highlighters from MAC. The first one is the Well Known Soft and Gentle. This is amazing for all skin types. It's slightly bronzy, slightly champagne-y coloured. I think it's just absolutely gorgeous. The second one I've been loving is Light Scapade. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And I would say it's a lot less shimmery than Soft and Gentle. Um, I would say it's more of like a silky highlighter, so it's just ever so slightly highlighting. For blush, I've been using the Makeup Revolution Vivid Blush Lacquer. It's like a pump and it's very, it's obviously a cream blush, but the color on this is amazing. It's really great with a stippling brush. I think this is just a beautiful product and I've been using this a lot. And then I forgot to mention powder, but this month and last month I've been loving the MAC Studio 
Fix powder and I've hit pan on this one but luckily I picked up another one. Oh I actually forgot to mention another bronzer I've been loving. Um, this is the Soleil Tandy Chanel or Bronze Universal <laughs> or the Bronzing Makeup Base um, from Chanel and this has been seen a lot on Instagram and Tumblr and this is what it looks like. It is freaking amazing. It's like a creamy base bronzer and I do set this with my L'Oreal Color Riche bronzer. Oh, it's just phenomenal. It makes you look like a sun-kissed goddess. And if you're going to get anything from Chanel, I would personally say that the Universal Makeup Bronzing Base or whatever it is called is the one to pick up. Now for eyeshadows, a palette I have been reaching for a lot is the BH Cosmetics Eyes on the 60s palette. If you are in the UK and you struggle to find any BH Cosmetic products, I will put a link below where you can buy them. Uh, this was sent to me, but I'm going to be doing a few looks with this and oh, the colours is, they are just amazing. How awesome does that look? My favourite shades I've been using currently are these three here, but I have also been using these few down here as well. And for the lip side of things, um, I've been using this bubblegum lip scrub from Lush Cosmetics. I usually put this on when I am prepping my face for my day creams in the morning and this literally just removes any dead skin on your lips and makes them really nice and plump when you put your lipstick on. Other lipstick products I have been absolutely loving this MAC lip pencil in Whirl. This is a staple on YouTube and went absolutely crazy on YouTube as well but this is kind of a, I don't know, it's like a brownie pink colour but these last all day and I think it's just a beautiful colour if you're trying to have, get that voluminous lip. And then I've been loving two MAC lipsticks. I have been wearing these on off throughout the month. The first one is Saint Germain. And Saint Germain is kind of a pinky purpley based lipstick. This is phenomenal with like a pink eye, even gold eyes. I think this is just absolutely fantastic. Um, gold and pink eyeshadow I meant by the way, not gold and pink eyeballs. And then the second one I have been loving is Yash. And this is a very, on the lips on me anyway, it's a very true brown, uh, but it is very nude at the same time. But it's just a beautiful colour and I think if you have a tan, this looks just absolutely exceptional. Um, I have my nails done today um, at a place where I get my hair done and I'll zoom in and show you. But if you have watched me, you'll know that my fingernails are like stumps. And I thought I'd just take the opportunity to get my polls done. So that was my April favourites today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed them. It was pretty short and sweet. I haven't been really using any other products other than the ones I've been using today just because it's been so busy. It's been a huge month for me. I had to see the back of this month, but here's to a positive next month. So yes, enjoyed this today and I shall see you in my next video. Bye.